In this video, I'm going to teach you how to steal anybody's LinkedIn content strategy, but I'm not just going to give you a playbook of what they're doing. I'm going to have them actually write your posts for you. And to do that, you just need two things. The LinkedIn URL of the creator you're trying to emulate. Whose voice do you love on LinkedIn? Who you actually want to write like next, all you need is the topic of your post. And this is going to give you two things. One, that playbook that we talked about, Hey, their hook, their structure, how they write, but it's also going to give you a post about your topic of choice in their voice. So I hit submit and a couple things are happening. First thing it's scraping their last 10 LinkedIn posts from there. It gives it to AI. In this case, we're using open AI's 4.1 mini, but it's doing the analysis. Like I said before, how they write, and then it's applying that to your topic. Lastly, the final product gets uploaded into Google sheets for you to take a look at before you go ahead and post it on LinkedIn. And so this is what it looks like. We get the creator, their LinkedIn URL, the actual playbook, like I said before, hooks, structures, tone, formatting. It also gives examples of how they've done it in the past. And then it gives you your actual post. And so while this is a really simple workflow, I think it actually packs a ton of value for those of you who are trying to post on LinkedIn, but just kind of don't like the way your posts are performing and want to emulate some of the best creators in your space. And so without further ado, let's actually jump into it and we'll go module by module and I'll explain to you how this all works and how you can edit it to make it yours. So first things first, we just have our on form submission that you saw before. And we're just asking for two things, the URL of their LinkedIn, and then the post topic, what do you want to post about? And from there that gets sent to our Appify scraper that's scraping the last 10 posts they've done. Now, what is Appify? Well, Appify is a third party marketplace for web scrapers. So you can go in here, you can find scrapers for Instagram, LinkedIn, obviously, TikTok, anything that can be scraped, you can probably find it on Appify. And this is the particular scraper we're using the LinkedIn profile posts, bulk scraper, no cookies, $2 per 1K. All right, let's kind of break it down. No cookies. What does that mean? It means your account isn't ever involved in the situation, right? LinkedIn and scraping can be scary. We don't want to get banned. These no cookie scrapers means your account is not involved in the process whatsoever. So you're safe. Second, $2 per thousand posts. That means I can scrape a thousand posts for $2. When it comes to Appify, you get $5 off the bat for free. I believe it's every single month. If you actually want to sub and use it a bit more like robustly and you want to use more and more, um, scrapers, it's going to cost you about $40 a month. And those $2 are then taken from that 40. So it's not like 40 plus two. It's kind of like a credit. You're able to find your API key down in the bottom left. If you go to settings and then in terms of what we can do with the scraper, you can kind of just go through the information and see the different settings that we can have. The biggest things, obviously the target URLs, that's what gives us the posts, but you can actually scrape reactions, comments, all that sorts of thing. For this particular workflow, we're only getting like one comment and one reaction. I believe we're not here to do comments. We just want the post content, right? That's what we care about. And then you can obviously test it here. If you go to input and then put in different target URLs and you can see, Hey, what's the output look like? What dials do I need to kind of like adjust to get the output I want? So have your API key ready because you're going to need that. And then we're going to come back in here in our API module, and you're going to see this URL. Now, where did I get this URL? I got it from the top, right? I went to API, API endpoints. And then I did run actor synchronously and get data set items. Now, why did you do that one? You want the run actor and get data set items because that allows us to just use one module. So it's going to like execute its task and come back with all our answers, with all our data, instead of using a run this actor. Cause if we run the actor, then we need to have another node where we then get the data. Like I don't want two nodes. I don't want to do any sort of like web hook ping. I just want you to do the work and get the data. So that's why we use this one. And we use the URL all the way up to the question mark. So you don't need this little part at the end here. Just copy that. I'm going to go back in here. It's post. It's that URL I showed you. You're passing in your API key. So it's going to be bear capital B space API key. And don't worry, I'll delete it after this and then accept application JSON. Now down here in the JSON body, and I'll bring this up. You see that we're passing the target URL. Now max post is set to 10. You could have this be a variable item, right? We could have this on the form submission. If you wanted, you can hard code it to be less, more, whatever you want. Same thing with the comments and the reactions that we're getting. And so when we run this, like you saw in the demo, we have all this data here on the right. So it gives you the URLs. It gives you like some stuff about comments, the actual content, right? And so the next job is to take all this, all 10 of these posts and shove it into our AI analysis module, 
which is why we have this aggregate node here, right? Because we don't want the posts to come in one at a time, like one post to analysis, two posts to analysis. I want a big box with all the data that's called this creator's post and shove it into the AI system. And so that's what this aggregate node does, takes these 10 posts, turns it into one item that we then pass to our AI analyzer. Now for this, I'm just using GPT 4.1 mini. This isn't like a real heavy lift for it. And you'll see here in the user prompt that we're passing, right? We're passing all 10 posts, the user topic and the creator URL. Now for the system message, this is where we make our money, right? So I did this, I went back and forth with Gemini to have it create this. And you see, hey, you're an expert LinkedIn ghostwriter, content strategist. I go through how I want it to analyze the piece. I go through the final output, just how I want everything to work. And again, as always, this is where you need to do your editing. If you want something changed, you don't like what the output looks like, this is where you change it. And so for the output, we have three different things, right? We have the analysis ID, so it's the name of the influencer as well as a date and time. We have the actual playbook, and then we have the actual content of the post. And to get that, we also use a structured output parser, so we know every single time it's gonna give us the output in the format we want, and we need it in that specific format because as you'll see in the next module, when we set it all up in Google Sheets, we need specific things to go in specific cells. And so lastly, we update Google Sheets, right? And I have a template for this sheet if you need it in my school community, but we match on the ID because that's gonna be different every single time. That way we don't get any sort of like weird things where cells are being overwritten. We map the creator um, here. So right, like what are we doing? We're matching it from the form submission. So my LinkedIn URL is getting dragged here. The ID, right, dragged in there, playbook, dragged in there, same thing with post, same thing with topic. And that becomes the LinkedIn. Um, and that becomes the LinkedIn ghostwriter kind of sheet we have here, right? ID, creator, playbook, like we said, goes into hook, structure, tone, formatting, call to action. And then we have our example post, which you can easily just copy and then paste it into LinkedIn. And I know we ran through that really quickly, but that's the workflow in a nutshell, right? This is just a really simple automation five nodes, but I also think while it might be a beginner node, it's a great one to kind of like try out because if you're like new to NNN and you're just looking for something that you know can provide you value and you can use right away, I think this is a great tool. Tons of people need something to help them create quality LinkedIn posts, but also we hit on a bunch of different things, right? Like form submissions, always useful. We start going into HTTP requests and we kind of get a little taste of scraping via Appify. We do some AI analysis and data aggregation and while this may seem simple, it's important to really internalize these things because one of the most difficult things to really master in NNN is like, how do we manipulate data? Like, how do I really get the data I want from the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation? And oftentimes, little things like this aggregate node actually do a ton of work because without it, this whole thing would kind of fall apart. It wouldn't really do what we wanted it to do. And then lastly, I think you can also see a great example of how do we, you know, anal analyzing it's almost the easy thing, right? Like I know AI can analyze these posts, but how can I output it so it makes sense? And then I can put it somewhere that, you know, a client or a user like yourself actually cares about, right? And that's where stuff like a structured output parser comes in, where we give an actual, actual example, like, okay, this is what I want the output to look like with the analysis ID, the formatting, the topic, all of that. Because like you saw before, these things do have to match. Like we need a specific thing for ID, for creative, for playbook, et cetera. So while simple and while we ran through that quick, we actually hit on a lot of important tenets of automation building inside of NNN. And like, like I believe I mentioned before, this is also a great template that we will use to build on, right? This is LinkedIn, but we can also extend this to YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And that's something we're gonna do in future videos. And what we'll really do is we'll see, can we just combine this all into like one AI agent that has all these different, you know, ghost writers essentially attached to it. And it can intelligently figure out which one to ping and then which one to, you know, execute on our behalf. So um, looking forward to that one. I think that one will be a ton of fun. Um, but yeah, hope this one worked out for you. As always, the template is in the school if you want to download and upload it from there and just get it up and running. So let me know how it worked for you. And good luck.